Okay, welcome back. This is part three uh, of E lecture six. Now we got a question here. We want to put in all the dimension on the table. Uh. So let's look at it. Uh, the pairing identified is is B six three four Z Z. So let's go and get the dimension of all these or all, all the bearing first. So let's look at the table here. I have already highlighted in green uh, the numbers. Can you please take note of that? Let's highlight it first. Uh. 634ZZ, ID is 4, outside diameter is 16, the width is 5, minimum radius for the bearing is 0 0.3, and then uh, DS, 6, 14, and 0 0.3. Let's put the numbers onto the table. Uh. i move this aside. Now, uh, It's mentioned the bearing ID. Bearing ID means bearing E. ID means the inner diameter. La. Inner diameter, we have diameter 4. For the bearing outer diameter, we have diameter 16. And the bearing width is 5. Let me pull back the list again. La. That's how I got the number. 4, 16, 5. The radius is 0 0.3. Did it call for the radius? Or oh, it did not call for the radius, so we leave this out. Now we're going to design the housing. The, this housing, and we're going to design the shaft. Uh. So the housing diameter dh uh, is given as a uh, diameter 14 maximum means that this diameter you can you can put in value like 13.8 13.5 14 is also okay uh. i mean uh diameter diameter 14 is fine fine yeah okay so uh but you should not put as a bigger than 14 uh. now what is d dh upper limit is this dh uh? Now, what is this DH? DH is actually diameter, DH upper limit. What is D now? D is actually the bearing outside diameter. So, so diameter D is actually 16. So, the question is, what is the upper limit? So, what is diameter 16 H7? H7 uh, what is the upper limit and lower limit? So, I need to go back to my my table earlier this table diameter 16 uh. so i look at diameter 16 is between here and here diameter 16 diameter 16 h7 so i look for h7 okay i got these two number here i got i have plus 18 and plus and zero, 18 and zero. Uh. This is what you learn in uh, lecture two. Uh. 18 and zero. So the upper limit here will be 16.018. Lower limit will be 16.0. And what's the radius R1? Uh? So radius R1 is over here. Look back at the housing. Uh. R1, you see 0 0.3 maximum, uh, means that it should not exceed 0 0.3. So I can put radius here 0 0.3 maximum, which means that I can have a value like uh, 0 0.2 or diameter 0 0.15. That's okay. Now let's go to the shaft. Uh. What is the dimension DS uh, for the shaft? This dimension. Uh? DS for the shaft. Look at the shaft. The shaft DS is over here. So I have six minimum. So I put here as diameter six minimum. Which means that the it can have it can be diameter six point five. It's okay. 
And then uh, what about the D H D H is this, sir? Uh? So now what is a small letter D? So what is this diameter D? Uh? Diameter D is meant for the bearing to sit. So the bearing is 4. So diameter D is 4. So now what is diameter 4 G6? I need to look back at the, the fit table again. And look for diameter 4, which is the second row. And G6. I got this number. I got this number. Lah. I got the number here is... Uh, Minus 4, minus 12. So, let's put the number here now. Ah. So, this will be diameter 4 minus 0. Point. So, diameter 4 minus 0. 0. 0.004. So, this will be diameter 3.996. And lower limit is diameter 4 minus 0 0.012 this will give me diameter 3.9 wow 3.9 8, 8 is it? yeah 3.9 8, 8. 8, 8 plus yeah correct 8, 8. and what about radius R2 I need to look back at radius R2 come back over here R2 is here. It says the R2 is same as 0.3, uh, 0 0.3 maximum. So similarly here I got 0 0.3 maximum. Which means that I could put in any number like maybe diameter 0 0.25. It shouldn't exceed 0 0.3. That's what it means. Uh. Good. Uh, that brings me to the end of this shape. Uh. I'll see you soon uh, on part four. Thank you.